so your description really accurate and good description really very good with words describes how most people do live their lives and by that we mean they react to life as it's coming so that it's a series of reactions and it's a physical action oriented doing the best you can given the circumstances that you're living in sort of life now the underlying and important thing that was happening during all of that that you weren't consciously aware of but that your inner being was is that with all those ups and downs of reacting to life which caused you to want more and then the desire was stronger for a while so things got better and then you weren't consistent enough in it and so then it didn't happen the way you wanted it to so then you focused upon it not happening so it got worse and so it was actually going in the direction of what your focus was but you weren't really so aware that you were creating your own reality then and you weren't working in concert with a steady guidance instead you were using as guidance reactions of others and other humans they are a terrible gauge they are really fickle awful guidance to use because first of all they're not that interested in you not as much as you'd like to believe that they are and next most of them are not that stable either so it's just a bunch of bobbing courts on a raging sea sort of thing and then you get very philosophical about how your life's going and so not very satisfying but the underlying thing that is happening during all of that is that you are launching rockets of desire and the desire is I want to understand this I want to fulfill my reason for being I want to hook up with that greater guidance things that you knew coming in life has now buffered you about enough that you've launched those strong 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 rockets and we want you to hear this above anything that you ever hear ever 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 again from us or anyone else this is what we want you to hear the universe always hears what you mean not what you're saying so your life caused you to offer a vibration which caused you to create a vortex so the meaning that you were radiating to the universe was not I want out of this physical experience the meaning that you were radiating was I want to understand it I want to flow with it I want to be in the flow I want to fulfill my purpose I want to understand I want to be deliberate I want to have steady control of my own life experience and so you did create that just right because what you thought you wanted which was the bailing out of all the resistance you didn't want out of life you wanted out of the resistance you see and so your inner being even with all of that intentionality still helped you to accomplish what you really want which is a stronger than ever zest for life and understanding about life is that helpful we really want that to be helpful because for you to say I can't even kill myself well couldn't be a more bogus statement the statement that you want to make is my inner being knows who I am and that will always be dominant and I wasn't as far gone from my inner being as one might believe because here I am now with a new zest for life yes appreciate that yes thank you so now fast forward to now and you heard all of that you got all of that we know you got all of that so now what what's this moment in time about so I, I feel like the weights off a, a bit uh, so going forward so what if happened I... was we were ready to reveal to you a resistance lifting experience and you were ready to receive it and did is that what just happened yeah and um, and I feel like I just uh, now I want to do a little bit more of a fine-tuning going forward because I feel like I've just I found a good flow and I'm happy and I've got great things coming into my life um, but to be honest I'm okay with whatever outcome is but then that's where it's hard to ask because am I okay in a relationship or out of relationship and then you want both equally how do you know oh, it's too complicated and you can't get there from there anyway so we're just gonna take another approach to this and we're just gonna give you a universal law principle that we haven't been talking about for very long but that you're really ready to receive and when you get this one thing that we are going to convey to you here in a really strong state of clarity you're gonna get this and it's gonna serve you enormously well and all of that stuff that was going on just now as you asked the question is just gonna lift off of you too here it is oh we're out of time no here it is it isn't about 
anyone else, which is hard to hear because they're everywhere and they seem important to your life, but it isn't about any of them or what they are doing or your relationship with them. It's only about your relationship with your own inner being. It's only about your vibration. It's only about what's going on with your own energy within you. So when you get something from a situation or from a person that you don't like and you have a reaction to it, usually a negative reaction if you don't like it, if you could say to yourself, there's only attraction, there's only attraction, there's only attraction, there's only attraction. There is no assertion. So nobody else asserted that, not God, not that person. Nobody has asserted anything. It's only attraction. I attracted this. Well, sometimes that's a really sucky thing to hear from yourself about yourself because you don't want it. And why would you attract something that you don't want? But start there. It matters that you start there. There's only attraction, only attraction, only attraction, only attraction. There's no assertion, only attraction, only attraction, only attraction. So here, Esther just had this epiphany really recently. Here's the thing that we really want you to hear. You know why that's so surprising and maybe even concerning to you? Because you thought you had more control over your life and others with your words than you do with your action than you do. It's attraction, 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 attraction. It's vibration, 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 vibration. Doesn't matter what your words are. It's what you're feeling about something. And what causes the confusion, every bit of that confusion that you were introducing into the conversation here is because you say things and therefore you think you believe those things because you've been saying them for a long time. But the universe responds to you what you're offering vibrationally. That's why you didn't die. Your words were about that. Your action even was about that. But your vibration was something very different from that. Oh. You're going to find such clarity and freedom when you finally own up. Esther had an experience with someone that she has a big reason to care about. Where her steady words for a long period of time were as if they didn't exist at all. And Esther had to realize, oh my God, I've got a vibration going that is different from my words. And that's why I'm getting this. And the contradiction that was going on in Esther's mind is, no, that's not what I believe because that's not what I say. Doesn't matter what you say. What you say is rarely in harmony with what you believe. The universe does not respond to what you say. The universe responds to your vibration and your vibration is what's real. You see, your vibration is your realness. And so. Don't ask the universe to respond to you differently than what you're offering vibrationally, which means you got to own it. You got to own it. And sometimes it's a little shocking when you say, well, I'm saying I love you, but I really resent you. I'm saying I'm proud of you, but I really think you could be doing so much better. <laughs> I say, I want to be with you forever, but really, I don't care if I ever see you again right now because I am so mad at you. So you've got yourself all confused because what you're offering vibrationally and therefore what the universe is delivering to you don't jive. And then you want to blame it on all of them and read all the books about all the behaviors and all of the patterns and all of the studies and all of the stuff that just keeps you in a constant state of upheaval when all it ever really comes down to is you're not owning how you feel. Sometimes what you feel is the right thing. Sometimes that is an asshole. <laughs> and so for you to try to make yourself the wrong one because you want to be spiritual. So you want to own how you feel. Now, here's where it gets clear. Your inner being does not feel that way about them. You do. You don't want to feel that way about them, but you do. You got some aligning to do with your inner being. That doesn't have anything to do with them. The bottom line is you're a lover. And just because they're not lovable doesn't mean that you are not a lover. So you don't do this to control the behavior of others. You do it to come in alignment with who you are. You got to love 
you gotta love you gotta love you you gotta love the others you gotta trust you gotta trust you you gotta trust the universal forces is this a little bit helpful can you sort of get where we're going with this let's just recap because again we're over the segment you are offering a vibration that often you don't want to own or admit because it doesn't fit in with the patterns that you've decided are the appropriate behavior for whatever 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 and so it's a constant awareness and alignment process of figuring out what your inner being is thinking right now right here about this because your inner being is always right on your inner being walked every step with you your inner being experienced every beating you experienced your inner being knows all the people you ever knew your inner being knows all those ups and downs that you lived your inner being knows what you launched the rockets of desires every single one of them and your inner being rode the rocket every single time and took the evolution that your life produced for you your inner being just got there first so your inner being stands in this attitude of enormous appreciation of the life that you've lived and the expansion that you've caused and holds that vibration so steady that you can't miss it and when you use words to deceive yourself of what you're really feeling you can't get back on track did you hear what we just said if you're pretending through your words and action that you mean something different than you really do then you're not ever gonna sort it out there's two ways to know what your vibrational offering is one is what's coming back to you and the other is how you feel so once you own that and when you don't feel good you know that there's only one thing to do we want you to hear this so much when you don't feel good what does that mean most to you in the whole world what does you not feeling good mean mostly it means right now your inner being feels really good because when you don't feel good that's evidence of the existence of your inner being who feels different than you feel because you've got yourself deprived of that did you hear it oh I'm gonna own not feeling good my guidance system is working and I'm gonna get to feeling good not by demanding different behavior from somebody but by focusing myself into alignment with my inner being and little by little experience by experience and then we're not talking about a long period of time you just find that appreciation you just find that love you just find that centeredness you just find that stability you just find that home place you just find that inner being you just come to know who you are and when you know who you are the world doesn't have to behave when you know who you are you don't attract beatings when you don't know who you are you might when you know who you are you don't attract confusion when you know who you are you attract the things that matter to you never mind what you're saying pay attention to how you feel and start noticing you're gonna feel a lot of this that's one of the wonderful things about meditation it opens you to your awareness of how you feel and so something big is gonna to happen to all of you in the next few days because you heard this you resonated with it you listened you own it you moved to it you know it you won't remember it for very long but you know it right now <laughs> you know it right now so what's gonna happen is when you're feeling a way that you're speaking something different there's gonna be some moaning in the attic the pipes are gonna groan and it'll be helpful if you stop and acknowledge uh, I'm not speaking my real truth and here's the thing oh, we have to say this your truth in the moment is your point of attraction your truth in the moment is your point of attraction but your point of attraction may not be your inner beings truth did you hear it your inner being is always love your truth in the moment might be resentment but if you're pretending that it's love because you think it should be love then you're not owning what your point of attraction is and you're constantly going to be in a state of confusion about why you're getting something other than what your words are demanding are you getting this this is a leading edge conversation the likes of which we have never experienced with a group of people so ready to receive it this is a wonderful thing that's happening right now this is a really good time for a segment of refreshment if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next